So apparently the screws are too long. So I'm gonna have to shorten them. So it looks like I need to put some O-rings on these. So I got a couple here. Yeah, I probably got the friends of the discount out in the summer. Don't have anything to do with discount. There's one. There's two. And. So here's the other one. So I guess on this one, I use the bigger ones. Plus my headlights used to be super fun. Yeah. Because that's something I want to do. But there you go. I'll just leave it here for a month. You can do whatever you want. Okay, so now i got to grease no, the fittings. So i got to grease these fittings. Normally, it's only in San Francisco that it's marketing them, so they're probably that old old Yeah, but anyway, that same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She appeared on the picture. Somebody else looks like she doesn't have her. And now the price around is on that identity. More or less good. Okay, so I need to take this off. There we go. So there's that. So here's the catch can. So I see you put this in here like that. And get the nut up underneath. Without risking dropping it. He was, he literally was born, there we go. before they even like uh, burped him or whatever, they slapped the like, <laughs> like, helmet on. That's why he was trying not because it got smacked. There we go. I'm used to inside the world, not a little bit of time. Yeah, so I was, I was saying, so he made the entire press. So. Was See this? Centers, See that? See this lovely thing? Okay. So, that cooler. So this sensor is plugs in to here, back into here, and then I'll zip tie it and I'll slip that back on. This plugs back in here, like so, and then this gets tightened back up. Okay, so here's my dilemma. This is the hose that I took off right here. This fitting here has to go into here. The fitting here has to go into here. So I have to get very clever with my hose placement to make this work. got room for a hose clamp here, hose clamp here, mm -hmm. or zip tie or whatever, but you've got a way to secure that. Okay. Okay. So this tube, uh, toss off the side, we use that for something else. So this. So the fun part is going to be, because normally you would have like a 90 degree, and that's kind of, I'm kind of curious as to why we don't have a 90 degree. The way the um, old hose would have been. Mm -hmm is the sensor would have been right here. Yeah, so and it would have gone straight right, from there. So it would have come off like that. Do you happen to have that? You don't have it with you, do you? Okay, not a big deal. Not it's big at deal. my house. Okay, not a big deal. Can you feed it underneath here? That way? Well, okay, so he has his outlet, well, outlet here, inlet here, in terms of pressure. Um, 
what he's got going on, take one of these ends and put it on. Okay, all right, so it's on, Yeah. All right? You have all of this left to come around to do something like that. Yeah. Okay, there's two trains of thought to this. You can leave it like this because this is gonna function, mm -hmm. okay? Um, and there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. All right. So this is going to function. What I would do is I'd probably bring this underneath here, like a so. You don't want to crimp this. Okay. So what you want to do is you just want to bring that. Oh wow! Just do that. But it is crimped a little bit. That's going to be the cleanest install that you're going to get. Yeah. Okay. If this were a factory hose, like what he was describing, what's basically going to happen is that the outlet, or the inlet, I should say, it's like right there. yeah, it, it's going to come off here, so it's a straight shot to it. So that's what we're missing. Yeah. Um, basically, what we're trying to do is we're trying to get the smoothest path path possible, okay, in the P in the PCV system. So you want oil and air coming through, you want it to evaporate, slow down, and then you want it to recirculate. So, what you've got, I mean, that's gonna work. That's okay. gonna work just fine. Pretty straightforward then. Yeah. It looks it looks weird, but. <laughs> well, and that's the thing is that, you know, the, the pros and cons of modding cars mm -hmm. is that when you mod cars, you're going to end up running into stuff like that. You're going to have to, you know, you're going to have to accommodate for whatever's going yeah. on. So in this case, you know, many sat there and said, eh, we're not going to put a catch can in from the factory. Okay, so they didn't. Okay. You're adding one. Yeah. You're having to do that for them. Yeah. So now you have to, you know, you have to improvise and you have to figure out what's going on. But it, for the but most in this part, in, in this instance, that does make sense because they said you could also mount it down here if you remove yep. this. And all I could think of is if I had it down here, then it might. Now, I will tell you this before you get all gun ho. Yeah. The one thing I can tell you is that you need to start the car and see if you see any difference in any idle. That's the biggest thing. Okay. Okay. So with these cars, and now that you've you, you've run all of this. You need to just start it up and let it idle, okay? Idle is going to tell you everything that you need to know okay. about anything that you've ever done. Okay. Okay? So when you need to drain these, what do you do? Okay. So when you need to drain them, take that screw out. Okay. You're going to pull that plug, and you're going to put it into a coffee can or a one liter or whatever. Okay. And this is just to check the That's level. just to check the weather. Okay. 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 And it's actually sealed by an O-ring, so, and actually, here's what I would do. Pull that thing out, take a little grease, put that on that O-ring. It's gonna make it easier, it's gonna keep it, it's actually gonna keep it lubricated, it's gonna keep it soft, it's gonna keep it sealing. Really? It should be good to go. Okay. Well, that's that. <laughs>